What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. <laughs> Jesus! It's not against the law. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're looking at a dead woman's corpse. Yay. Yay! Oh, ooh. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been evacuation laid around for quite smell. some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. All right. Evacuation smell. Yeah, that's a great way to put shit in yourself when you die. <laughs> Another missing ring. So and... it seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Great. Hmm. Well, we got time of death as a clue. Yeah. Her, okay, so her body's not a clue. Got it. We got time of death last time too, though, and it didn't matter that time either. No. Um, okay, the purse. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. Had to uh, come by at a very specific angle. Okay, hold oh, on. There's two things in here. Yeah, they both look important. Oh. A letter? Oh, this letter. A uh, better way than just uh, bitten, bitten words were exchanged. I thought I said wands. Taking too much liquor. So trying to get her to come home. Go to money of the judge. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. And then and then it gets ripped. Yeah, I'm guessing this is some parent or not parent come home because she's 40, so probably not. Although I guess maybe. Oh no, become of my little girl. Never mind. Yep, is a parent. What is this? We could go over to the Don't lot and see what they know about her. All right. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Great. Okay, what is... Oh, hold on. Do we have a matchbook here? Yeah, that's where you get Which every location in the game. Whoa. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Man, matchbooks really are the greatest piece of evidence. They are. Too bad nobody has those nowadays. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Huh. Weird. Hey! Uh, I guess we don't need to go to the game well yet. Let's start questioning the people. You. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. <laughs> Jesus. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a law against that, Ferdinand. <laughs> I was kissing corpses. Classic Carmine. Can we arrest Again. him? Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. Let me hit Rusty, him. Rusty, stop. Let me hit him. <laughs> you uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. I was already kissing her. <laughs> Well, that's the truth. She didn't need it. And I'm sorry, why are you looking at me, Jameson? Look at Phelps. <laughs> is he so proud of himself? He's doing like a Superman pose. What is going on? She didn't uh, need it, but I needed it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. I believe and him I that... Her. I, I believe him that he took a look. Do we say truth? I guess. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Wait, the mat was already here when you got it? I thought the police put that down. Weird. Found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. 
Uh, well, mm. doubt the fucking shit out of that. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Jesus. Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into a cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. I just want to point out, not only was he kissing a dead body, it looked like that. Yeah. And they were just and he was talking about lipstick on her. And they were just talking about the smell of it too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, this guy. Please tell me you're not also a corpse fucker. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Oh, that was easy. And taught us nothing. <laughs> okay. It, ta it taught us that he found that dude kissing a corpse. Yeah. I, I guess he said what time. So we know that she died between... Or, yeah, she was here between 12, 12 last and night and, and, yeah, something like that. 12 and 2 is what we got from the corner. Oh, Cole yeah, that's, that's more useful. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest door to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks, ma'am. All right. Let's go there. Then hold on, corners. Almost forgot my rule. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I'm finished. What? What? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I'm finished. What's going on? I'm busy here, Phelps. What? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where is he going? Fine, I'll get in. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing? Really cool. Shut up. Uh, I want to go to the liquor store first. That seems more important. All right, I'm just gonna move it a little. And then I'm gonna get out and tell him to drive. You drive. I need to go over the It case worked. Note. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess he, I think you he- You gotta be kidding. We're driving this? I think he just got stuck because he, he thought Chinese we were at the case the area. Food that we're sending him? Yeah, yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving, they can't do that want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay then. <laughs> Armies can't fight without food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Phelps, clairvoyant, as he was written by people who live in a time where they've only ever seen a communist China. Uh, Phelps is a genius because he's a proxy for the writers. <laughs> the only not not completely racist man. Either than that whole Jew gas chamber thing. That was pretty racist. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. This guy looks like a famous old-timey actor, doesn't he? His look and his voice. Yeah. I bet you he matters. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Shut up, Rusty. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. Do you kiss corpses, Mr. Robbins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's over here in our makeshift hobo shack. 
All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm, this must matter. Oh, it, it matters? Oh, oh, it does. <laughs> Balling's bowling alley. Huh. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Okay. Ballings. I know You open place. it up. Corner There's alcohol in it. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Huh. What? What is this? I'm oh. guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job oh. for quite some time before she was killed. All right. Some veneers. Yeah. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights. The me. shadow of my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at that pixelated weird-ass thumb? Phelps, you have a weird jagged thumb. This is the worst-looking trophy. Yeah. It looks like it's made of chocolate. Uh, Maybe it oh, is. Oh, here we go. Maybe okay. she, it's still there. She can't eat it after like four years. Uh, which one's which? I actually don't know because the body was so fucked up. I think she might be the one on the left. She's both. Oh my god, what a twist. Oh, another picture. This is not always such a loner. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, Wait none hold of those on, women, hold on. Was that none dick of those women look like the other woman. Is that Dick Bates on the left? <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like him with his weird fucked up face. None of these women look like the women in the other picture. <laughs> yeah. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Okay. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Hold on, was the was the fact that she's not stupid just entered into evidence? <laughs> and she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. That's Holy a fuck. hell of a name. Can't people have normal names that's like some, that's... Cloth and fucking <laughs> Grosvenor? That's some fucking letter vomit there. Whoa, camera. Oh, uh, hold on. Did you just- were you just talking across the whole place to me? You're all the way over here. Alright. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Uh... That looks fine. Yeah. I can't tell if having his mouth slightly open is just his idle face that he does sometimes. I think so. I... Okay, hold on. Hold on, though. She buys a quarter of rye. Wasn't he just saying, like, she's a raging alcoholic and it's stupid? I guess we don't have that in, in evidence, though. Do we just truth? I guess. He's looking right at you. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. A boy. That's a young word to be using. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? Not many people will be sad she's gone. I'll be one of the few. Okay. I'll say truth on that. I feel yeah. like you'd be sad if she... Yeah. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Okay. This guy's pretty useful so far. He you is. know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Uh, that's, uh, that's the same face he made last time we said truth. His eyes oh, are going oh. around a little, mm -hmm. though. Not personally. So he does recognize the name, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we've got the name in the book. Um... I don't, I don't think know. he's straight up lying to us. Yeah, I don't think I have any reason to believe that he knows that this book is from that guy, though. Like, yeah. Nor, even if he did, I don't know why that would be catching him in a lie. You think maybe doubt just to pry? I think so, yeah. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. Uh from what I gather, the feeling was far it's from important. 
He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. Hmm. I'm sad that she's dead, but won't help you. Like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. I think no the implication problem. is communist guy. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. All right. Well, he was pretty helpful. It's nice to occasionally have a helpful guy. Now, if it is somebody who looks like the guy we saw in the cutscene, that guy's got a jawline that kind of looks like that guy from the oh, cutscene. Oh, does he? I, was, I wasn't even thinking about that. Can you drive to this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Fine. Where are we headed? Maybe we do the bar now. Great. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? We're going to look like corners. That's what we're going to look like. He just starts in reverse. <laughs> he always starts in reverse. <laughs> Tobacco nist. I want to go there instead. <laughs> just go inside and tell them their store is a stupid name. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. Boxing I'm photos on the wall. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks. Never had All any right, she's money. dead. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Okay. Can I ask you? <laughs> You're free to speak to the regulars. Uh, Just don't shake them too uh, hard. Uh, Phelps, good stance. Um, <laughs> I'm going to talk to the guy. Okay, of the two people, I think I want to talk to the guy who they put more effort into his model. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Ah. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. Can you not what be you so loud, Detective? About? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. It's a stiff How book. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. I hate yep, you. yep, he comes across as the fucking as the fucking communist revolutionary upper middle class type who's just trying to get a cult following. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Hmm. Yeah. This guy also has a jawline that matches. He, we don't have. Yeah, we don't. We don't have anything that says specifically what his criminal record is, do we? No. Okay. So doubt. Doubt. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights. Figured, yeah. That kind of thing. I'm a piece a of shit, fifth that column. kind of thing. Nice to meet you, comrade. Yeah, yeah, I figured he'd be some fucking, oh, it's totally about workers' rights, shyster, who's just totally trying to get power for himself. Uh -huh. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes. That is correct. That is... Okay, hold on, hold on. You barely knew <clears> her. <throat> Why did you lend her a book? Yeah, yeah, I said we call lie on this one. Uh, we, yeah, we could see what he says, because it could just be doubt. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. You lent her a book. I think we have him on this. Okay. I'll get it. Why would you lend yes. me your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A okay. renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. That's true. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. So she was at your apartment. That's a clue. 
I saw her go into a hotel no, it isn't. with Tierney. Didn't come up as a clue. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Can can we ask him who the fuck is Tiernan? No. That feels like a really important question. Okay, I guess I'll talk to the other guy. Are you Tiernan? You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Are all of your customers complete dicks? Where's all this smoke coming from? No one's smoking. There's like 700 ashtrays and no one's smoking. <laughs> 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 all right. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? The is bowling this, alley. Is this Tiernan guy going to be at the bowling alley? Car 11K, car oh, 11K, shit. Car 11K, car 11 King, KGPL. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. 11 King, enter out. Okay. Oh. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. All right. Let's you know, didn't force you out. Oh. Uh, is he going to drive to the right place or is he still going to the bowling alley? Because I really don't want to keep Connolly waiting. He's not the kind of guy you... you out of the car? No, I got out to try and change location. Okay, it did auto change. Oh. Good. Yeah, I don't want to keep Connolly waiting. He might call a crusade on me. I say he might. Okay, where are we going? Yeah. The captain is downstairs with Ray Oop, Pink. Okay. Oh, Carl God damn it. Uh, oh, you that's... know what? I bet you this is. Oh no, not that room! I bet you this is about the uh, the ring. Yeah. Catching all those criminals. All right. <laughs> What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which oh I don't God. want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, Cartel Classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. <laughs> Just... Why are you so angry, Mal? Rusty, <laughs> Jesus. I fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the summer Great. Space, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Mm -hmm. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. Mm. <laughs> yeah, good to know that the department had a corpse order. fucker. Back to the Summers case. Uh, 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 McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. He blew the whole bar. <laughs> Wait, there's Phelps. a phone. Phelps. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, where is it in here? I don't think it's in the viewing room. Aw, <laughs> I just want to go in the viewing room. Phone. There oh, it is. Hey. Are you going to call the PlayStation? Operator, give me dispatch. Is this a coin operated phone? Yep. Putting you through now. Why am I using a coin operated phone in a police station Phelps, I work one, two, four, seven. at? <laughs> How could I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. His name okay, is so spelt like Grosvenor. <laughs> I, I fucking hate that stupid oh, name. That name is a is bitch. He already, oh, I thought he was already in the driver's seat. I was like, look, he's learning. <laughs> nope. He, <laughs> it's Rusty. He doesn't learn. But man, he's got a real problem with his shoulder there. What was going on there? Just kept no grabbing idea. it. 
All right, everybody. On the next episode, we go to the apartment of Grosvenor McCaffrey. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.